Hi, I'm Renarda Clanton-Moy, the Chief Communications Officer of the Cumberland County Schools and your host of Get Connected. During this monthly show, we highlight numerous educational topics that face today's student, educator, and parent in the Cumberland County Schools. Now in August, the Cumberland County School System opened the doors to its newest high school, which is housed on the campus of Fedville Technical Community College. That's right, the Cumberland Polytech High School is offering teens from all corners of the county really unique experiences that include high school and college classes. Already, students are bragging that they're getting the best of both worlds, rigorous campus life with fun high school activities. Now, after the break, administrators from Cumberland Polytechnic High School, as well as students, will be here with us to acquaint us with the Polytech Way on this edition of Get Connected. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome, oh, I think we're breathtaking. And here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. Yes. Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, Chief. I got this. <coughs> Is that brand? <laughs> Colleges love extracurricular activities. That just really isn't my thing. I got this. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to GetSchool.com for more info. We appreciate you joining us for this edition of Get Connected. We're chatting with the principal of Cumberland Polytechnic High School, Mr. Dan Krummenacher, and the school counselor, Ms. Brittany Raines. And we're talking about Cumberland County School's newest high school, which is housed on the campus of FTCC. Welcome, Brittany and Dan. Thank you for having us. I'm Thank so you. glad you guys are here. I know you were here with us uh, on separate occasions, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, I'm glad you're back talking about this wonderful high school. Glad to be back. Okay. <laughs> now, what is Cumberland Polytechnic High School? What is, what is the high school all about? This is the first high school on a community college in Cumberland County, mm -hmm. and it offers students opportunities to earn a high school diploma while at the same time earning a degree, diploma, or certificate from FTCC within those four or five years that they would spend with us. So in that aspect, it's very unique. Um, but this idea of vocational education has been around for a long time. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But from the leadership of the Cumberland County Schools in collaboration with Fayetteville Tech, we were able to make this happen. That's good. And you know, that was my next question. I was gonna ask you, where did this idea come from? The leadership in the Cumberland County Schools in collaboration with Fayetteville Tech um, plan together to come up with this idea to make this happen actually on the campus, which is, I think, one of the most important attributes mm -hmm. of it. It's actually on the campus of Fayetteville Tech. Now, some people may very well ask, is it in a, a, its own building, or where is it located exactly here on the campus? We're located in the Continuing Education Building on the second floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like, if someone were to come and take a tour, what would they see when they come up the stairs or get off the elevator? And the classes are, I mean, has the building been restructured on the second floor? Or tell me how it looks. We actually have a great space. Mm -hmm. We have each of our classrooms to offer our Cumberland County Schools classes mm -hmm. side by side. You come up the stairs to your right, you'll see our main office where my office and Ms. Rain's office is housed along with our uh, administrative assistant staff. And then to the left are all our classrooms mm -hmm. along with a student area. Oh, wow. And you all have about how many young people in your program at this point? 170. 170? Mm -hmm. Now, these are, where are they from? Different parts of the county or? They're from all over the county. 
Really? Mm -hmm. And I understand like right now you all are getting ready, getting reared up for re recruiting. Yes, ma'am. So what are you what are you looking for? When, if someone wants to come and apply to be a part of your high school, I mean, what do they what are the prerequisites? They have to fill out an application. It's pretty similar to the choice school application. Okay. That's one route they can take. The second route, which is most important and kind of new that we need to get out there, is that if students are interested in something that Fayetteville Tech has to offer, a degree, a diploma, a certificate, mm -hmm. we're going to meet their needs from that aspect. And they can talk to their school counselor or their school social worker to get the application mm -hmm. and work on completing it from there and then submitting it to us. Timelines are going to be similar to those of the choice application, but one thing that's a little different is they can apply through their school counselor or school social worker. Now, how would a young person or a parent know that um, their child fits into to this type of environment? I mean, you know, what, I guess in essence, um, let's just put it this way, as far as requirements, I mean, and, and what type of student normally do you all find would be interested in a program like this? Um, students that are rising ninth graders, 10th or 11th okay. graders um, are the best suit for our school because by the senior year, it's kind of a little late but we're looking for students that are very determined to succeed. They may want to go into a skill or trade. Um, they may want to just gain those extra college course credits that they can transfer into any four-year college um, or the student that wants to get a little mix of both. Um, they have the opportunity, as Mr. Krumenacher said, to earn a certification or an associate's degree. And so with that, in our campus being here on the Federal Tech campus, they have a wide variety of opportunities that they can take advantage of while with us. So the main thing as far as our vision and mission goes for the students is that they have to be, of course, interested in their mm -hmm. high school education. Right. They can offer that high school diploma mm -hmm. in four years, but also interested in something that Fayetteville Tech has to offer mm -hmm. because we're going to meet their needs. Uh, talking with the leadership at Fayetteville Tech, no matter what the kids are, the students are interested in, mm -hmm. we're going to find a way to make that work right. and have them fit. So that's going to be something that they have to be interested in, something that Fayetteville Tech has to offer. And at the same time, they're going to earn college credits. So it's kind of like, yes, we're going to be college ready, and yes, we're going to be career ready at mm -hmm. the same time. And you know, that's what just stands out to me. What parent would not want their child to be college ready? Right. I mean, you know, and to be in an environment like this, they learn, they mature. Mm -hmm. But then, you know what, I'm sure some people have questions. How does it work taking a ninth grader and putting them into an environment where they're moving around with adult students? Here's the great thing about it. Mm -hmm. When they start with their freshman year, mm -hmm. they have all their classes with Cumberland County Schools teachers. Very small class in sizes, nice environment. At the same time, they have access to all the resources and we kind of slowly acclimate them mm -hmm. to the FTCC campus. Next year, we're gonna start with allowing freshmen to take one or two courses. Okay. Um, and of course, as they progress through their freshman year, their sophomore year, their junior year, their senior year, each year would get more till they hit their senior year when they're taking all courses with FTCC and they finish their requirements for Cumberland County Schools. Oh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Now, you know, some parents might have a question, what type of classes do you have? I mean, what type of classes are being offered? Um, our CCS classes will consist of the regular um, core Mm -hmm. classes that they take, you know, your maths, your English, social studies, and science. Mm -hmm. um, but then through FTCC, a lot of those core classes will be offered for college credit at the same time. So many of our students will take like the History 131s or 132 and earn that college credit along with earning the high school credit. And then once they kind of finish with their regular core requirements, they're able to if they want to go into a, like a CTE path or a career technical education pathway, they can. So if they wanted to do maybe finance or business, any health related field like most of our seniors are taking right now, they're able to do that. And if they just want to continue to earn like those transferable courses, they're able to do that as well. And the nice thing about it is knowing that we're on the campus of FTCC and we're preparing them to take college courses that are going to also be career related. They're going to mm -hmm. have some hands on experiences. Right. We're offering an academic readiness course, which is going to help prepare them mm -hmm. for what they would face when they get out on the actual campus and take college courses. So our teachers teach that course to them. Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of a blended course where they do some online work and they do some face-to-face -face stuff, 
but teachers act, the teacher, our teachers actually prepare them for what they're gonna face and the skill set they would need to be successful in the college class. So we send them out there prepared. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to hear that. Sending them out prepared. And you know what a question that pops into my mind as far as books and those types of things for the college classes. How, I mean, like the cost, because I know college books, college course books they are, are expensive. expensive. That can break you. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, how is that taken care of? Um, CCS pays for all of our books. The students come here free of charge. Now, you cannot beat that. You cannot beat it. Wow. Mm -hmm. And, okay, transportation, how does that work? You know, getting the students here to campus, I mean. Right now, transportation in the morning, we start at 7.30, and that reason is to help meet some of the scheduling needs at FTCC when they start to go out, so we have mm -hmm. to be on campus early. Mm -hmm. That is the parents' responsibility to get them here in the morning. In the afternoon, what we do is we transport them back from Fayetteville Tech to their home school, and then at their home school, they can catch the bus back to their house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And right now we're transporting, of the 170 students that we have, probably about 70 every day, between 60 and 70 every day, depending on what their after school activities mm -hmm. are, uh, you utilize that option. And as far as, as lunch is concerned, how does that work? We're like every other high school. We have lunch set up in our building too. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. We have our own cafeteria. Right. Oh, oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when you mention like every other high school, what I want to know is how is Cumberland Polytech different from our other high schools? I'll start and I can tell you how it's different. You have the opportunity to get in that pathway mm -hmm. and earn the diploma, the certificate, the degree, whatever it is you want within the same four years that you're in your high school diploma. We're also paying for your books and you also have access to all of the supports that FTCC has to offer. And I'm talking about media services, tutoring services. Anytime a student wants to stay after school, they have multiple licensed certified tutors that will set up sessions either individually, one-on-one, -on -one, no matter what subject it is, all free of charge. That's good. From ninth grade all the way through their senior year. Now, let me ask you this. How is your school the same as our other high schools? Because, I mean, I understand you all have extracurriculars. Mm -hmm. Yes, so our students, they participate in clubs. Uh, we're, very, we're known for our forensics team, uh, which okay. is nationally ranked. And so also they can participate in athletics at their home school. We have prom. We, have, we had a pep rally. Mm -hmm. It's pretty okay. cool. And so anything that a normal school would do, we do as well. That's good. And yeah. I understand you all have intramurals, too. We do. Wow. We have intramurals, we have club days, right. we have an active SGA, mm -hmm. and with that 2.30 release time, they can catch that bus back to their home high school and they can participate in sports. I think Ms. Raines mentioned that. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things. We, I think we have about a half a dozen students right now that are participating in interscholastic um, varsity and junior varsity sports. Mm -hmm. Now you know what, after the break, I'm gonna talk to two of your young people, of your students who are just like on fire about mm -hmm. your, your mm -hmm. um, high school. But I wanna ask you this before we head to the break, is there anything that, if you were trying to sell this, this high school to those who are watching, what would you say about it? This is an opportunity that's, in my opinion, comparable to no other opportunity you could have as a young person, as a family, a parent, to say, yes, in that four years, you're still gonna get your Cumberland County Schools high school education and diploma. And at the same time, you're gonna be honored with, here's the key, what you choose, what's, interest, what's high interest to you, whether it's a diploma, a certificate, a degree, in whatever field, when you leave us, you'll have that, and it'll all be free of charge. Right. And what parent doesn't want that? Okay, you know we're going to have to go on the break <laughs> on that one, Brittany. That's, thank you all so much thank for hanging for out with us. Okay? Thank you for having us. All right, all right. Well, don't go anywhere. Stick around for more Get Connected. Imagine. 
read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you gonna do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills, the smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you gonna make of yourself? What are you gonna make of me? Thanks for joining us for this edition of Get Connected. Our guests this segment are two students from the Cumberland Polytechnic High School. They're here to tell us about how they're finding their paths the Polytech way. Asia Hannans and Jared Little. I'm so glad to have you guys here. You are two of my favorite teenagers. Thank you. Thanks for having us. This is really great. I know your parents are excited <laughs> as well, but it's all good. Look, now, um, just kind of wondering, what made you choose to come to Cumberland Polytechnic High School? Because this is the first year it's been open. Well, for me, I was a part of the school that we had before, Howard Health and Life Sciences High School. But for me, it was the great opportunities that the school offers that you can't get really anywhere else. Mm -hmm. That's good. What about you, Asia? My mom thought that it would like, be like a better education, and she just wanted me to like join the school because to get the college kind of like lifestyle mm -hmm. down path. That, yeah. That's good. Now, now that you all are a part of the school, you've moved around in the environment. What do you think? <laughs> it's a great environment. I think we all, everybody at Cumberland Polytechnic really connects together. Really? How so? Well, we are all, we have the same personality. We all Now, are, wait a minute. Okay, I need <laughs> to stop you, Jared. The same, what type of personality is that? Well, we're all outgoing and we're all determined to succeed. Okay, okay. What about you, Asia? Now that you're there at Cumberland Polytech, what do you think? I really like it. Like, I just like love the environment and I like the kids there because like they like fit in and no one's like left out and everyone's like together as a family. That's good. That's, you have a favorite aspect of the school that you really enjoy? Well, at our school, everybody can be different. Nobody is really picked on and nobody deals with bullying because we accept literally everybody. That's good. Now you're a member of SGA, correct? Yes, ma'am. And so, what what do you, what particular office do you hold there? Well, I'm just a grade level representative right now. Okay, okay. And so I'm sure as a, a council, you all work to make sure the environment is one that's where everyone fits in. Yes, we do. We make sure that everybody fits in, that everybody can do what they can do. They can participate, whatever they feel is comfortable for them. Okay. Now, are you both in any extracurriculars? Well, SGA is my curriculum. SG, SGA is your curriculum. Okay, and, what, and as a home, you said a homeroom or a student representative? Student representative. What do you do? I mean, what, is, what do student representatives do there? Just student there? representatives, they are the ones who have the say of the class. So there are many representatives in my grade, but everybody who's not, they talk to us and we try to bring it up in meetings to make sure that we can have what we want. Mm -hmm. And what have been some things um, or issues that you all have tackled thus far as far as uh, a student council? Well, we actually want to come together as a school to have better activities and more participation. And we were actually able to have a pet rally earlier in the year. So y'all had a pet rally? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> now where was the pet rally? The pet rally was in the Tony Rand Center in the extracurricular room. And so you all were broken down as classes, or how did how was it set we up? We were in like groups of four. It was four different groups. Okay. Green, blue, yellow, and red. All red. the classes came yeah. together. Okay, so now and like the... we just like chose our own group, and we mm -hmm. had to do like it was really fun. It was really <laughs> yeah. fun. That's good. Now, what was the the what's the color thing? What is that? Well, we broke um, the all of the school into colors because we were actually going to have a nursery rhyme rap battle. And so the whoa, colors. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, got to, you <laughs> have to slow it down. Now, what a nursery rhyme. A nursery rhyme rap battle. Mm -hmm. So basically, we have some type of track. It could be rap that has a great beat to it. And then we are going. We added nursery rhymes to the beat, and we all competed against each other. Really? Was it exciting? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That is so good. Now you know what? Let's go back to the original question for you, Asia. What extracurriculars are you involved in? I'm involved in step team at CPHS. Really? Yes. 
So now step team, what is, for those who may not know what step team is, explain to us what step team is and what step team does. Step team is like a bunch of girls or guys. Mm -hmm. We have girls. We have I think about 10 of them and we just like come together make step routines and this year we're hoping to compete against like other high schools. Okay and the stepping um, what Janet has come from originated from um, sororities and fraternities stepping. Okay that's good. I am proud of both of you. <laughs> now um, what career paths are you all choosing? Well, I haven't broken it down yet, but I'm thinking about going to the education and training because that is really the field that I like. That's the field that my mom is in. Mm -hmm. And we it's just an education family, so I'm really trying to do that. Really? So ultimately, in life, you would like to be? Well, in life, I actually want to be a professional singer, but to start off, I do want to be a music teacher and kind of act with the children. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you, you have a wonderful voice. Thank you, thank you. Yes beautiful voice. Okay, and Asia, what particular path are you on at this point? After after high school, I would like to go to college gymnastics, and in college, I would like to study culinary arts, and I want to be like a doctor. Okay, yeah. all right. So that you have kind of varied interests there. Yes. All right, that sounds like a good thing. Now, um, and I have this question from our producer asking me, is there anything that you dislike about the school? But I can tell you all seem to love what you're doing and yeah. where you are. And it's, I'm sure you probably feel, you know, I know, Asia, you have a background where you originally were at... Um, South uh, Yeah, okay. And so you probably see a somewhat of a difference between the two environments. Yes. And what, do you, what difference do you see? The difference I see is that, like, at CPHS, we get our core classes, like, already dealt done with mm -hmm. and so we get a better like life setting education and mm -hmm. we also have like smaller classes okay and i think that that's like a better environment for us learning for you oh, and yes. exactly and so in essence what you're saying is that you you're getting that opportunity to kind of explore and be here on campus yes. and be able to see some of the other things you know, in a college setting probably that you would not see had you been in a traditional high school. That's good. Aren't you glad your mom made that decision? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Are you, now, you came to the decision on your own that you wanted to be yes, in I Howard did. Health because you were what, really interested in some type of early college situation. Yes, I was. Um, I was actually unaware of the early college opportunities that we had when I was in middle school. So when my guidance counselor actually came to the classes and she started talking about the early college and the opportunities that you get, I, I just wanted to do it because I wanted to be ahead. Mm -hmm. That's good. That is good. Now, I understand that at your school, you guys are into some community service types of things. <laughs> Tell me, what are they? Well, I personally go and I volunteer at my former middle school because I like for them to see me grow, to see what I've been doing and how I've been getting ahead with the early college. That's good. Now, what types of things do you do at the middle school? Um, I help with the office, running errands that they need um, as far as taking things to teachers. And I also individually go to teachers and help them grade papers or whatever they need me to do. Good. Now, your former middle school was? Grace Creek Middle School. Grace Creek Middle School. Yes. That's good. And I'm sure they're happy to see you back <laughs> over there. That's good. And what about you, Asia, as far as community service? Talk to me. I volunteer at my local gymnastics, like as a volunteer coach for like, helping like the little three and five-year-olds. Okay. It's really fun. That's good. And I would like to go like volunteer at a senior citizen facility yes that's good so are you still there countryside yes ma'am so i know miss hester miss Ms. hester and mr hester are glad to see you there yes. and that's good and that gives you all the opportunity to kind of get that work experience to some degree mm -hmm. as well and that responsibility and do you find that a lot of your classmates are pretty mature and responsible people yes because you all probably have a different mindset, don't you? Yes, we all are striving to accomplish so many goals, and we're trying to you know, be the top of the class because we want what the early college offers, and we want to be ready when we go to college. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have any thoughts and ideas of where you want to go to college ultimately? Well, I was thinking about um, UNC Pembroke because they offer a great music program. Okay, so that's where you're interested in. Yes. That's great. I didn't know if you wanted to go to college with your brother. No, I actually did not. <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to see you <laughs> on campus. What about you, Asia? I would like to go to either LSU or Alabama. 
oh. because they're the top collegiate gymnastics. That's good. That's good. I, I really like this that I've known you guys for a long time. And just to see how you your interest evidently is just really there in gymnastics because you're very talented at that and, and music because you're very talented at that, that you all are holding fast with that and you're kind of moving in those directions. You focused. You focused. That's good. That's a good thing. Now, if you were to talk to other young people, um, to let's say middle school students, and you were to tell them, you know, the, poly, the Cumberland Polytech way is the way to go. What would you tell them? Um, I would tell them not to take this opportunity for granted because you really can't get this anywhere else. This is a school that offers free college courses. And everybody knows that college is a lot of money. Oh, yeah. So getting the free college courses is really a great deal that you can't miss out on. Good, good, good advice. What about you, Asia? I would kind of tell them the same thing, that like it's free and mm -hmm. everything, and that like you're still getting like your college credits even though you're in high school. Like mm -hmm. I really like that because it's a really good idea. That's good. And you know something that stood out to me earlier that you were talking, you all were talking about, which I think is an excellent selling point, is the fact that you can come from any part of the county and move into this environment and, and go to school in this environment and, and be just as different as everyone else, but be accepted. Yes. And that, that makes a difference when you're in an environment and you're learning and everyone accepts everyone and you just have a good time. Isn't it? Yes, it's great. It's, it's great. <laughs> it's great. That's a good thing. Now, is there anything that I didn't ask you that you'd like to share with me about your experience at Cumberland Polytechnic High School? Well, I just feel like we have great opportunities. So anybody who has a higher mindset, who's determined, who's striving to reach those goals should come. Asia? Same goes for me. Same goes for ditto. <laughs> all right, then. Well, thank you all. I appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me, OK? You know what, Ashley, because you were so pleasant and you said, yes, yes, yes. How about we have you back again next year? Okay, yeah, that'd, be that'd be great. great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again, Jared and Asia. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for having us. All right. Well, on behalf of the Cumberland County School System, we want to thank you for tuning in to this edition of our show and for giving us a chance to help you get connected. Until next time. Mm -hmm.